Welcome. If you're using the Steinwipe system or you have an X-Series or P-Series printer and you want to get more out of it, this video has something for you. Here I will show you how to set up a custom machine profile for Steinwipe motion control. One that goes far beyond just enabling travel paths to a wiper pad. This profile packs in over a thousand lines of custom G-code to streamline your printer's workflow, optimizing travel paths and the order of operations to save time and improve efficiency while increasing reliability with every print. I will also show you how to import the Steinwipe bed model into Bamboo Studio so you can visualize the wiper directly in the workspace. So let's dive in. Starting on the Patreon shop, I'll show you what you need to download. Machine presets are only available in this development pack. And if you have previously purchased this pack before this release, these files are now available to you. You just need to come back and download them. Clicking View Files will bring up this window showing all of the files for the entire project, but we're only interested in the Machine Presets folder. And I'll just quickly touch on these so you know what is here as of February 10th, 2025. There are two files containing raw codes for the P1 and X1 printers. Each set of codes is slicer specific, so as of this date, Bamboo Studio and Orca Slicer are now both covered. To use and edit these codes, you can follow this video here, but do be careful. There are some risks involved in editing the machine codes if you're not familiar with G-Code. There is a folder containing all of the maker files and another folder containing all of the CAD files. These CAD files can actually be quite handy if you want to have the ability to fine tune the wiper shape and position. That way you can use other wipers that are not the A1 wiper from Bamboo. Inside the installation tools folder, there are currently two programs that you can use to check the wiper position just to verify there are no alignment issues that will cause a collision should there be something off with your machine such as a homing issue or even a bent nozzle. And the last folder is the community discord access. This is available to Steinwipe users and Steintrack users. Lastly, if you're new to this project and you want to check out the model files, I provided these for free with a few extra resources on MakerWorld. The link is in the description. After you have unzipped the folder containing the presets, you will see there are some 3MF files and some model files. Now you can make your way over to Orca Slicer or Bamboo Studio. The process is the exact same for both slicers but the refinement in Orca Slicer is a little bit better than Bamboo, so I generally tend to go to Orca. Looking at my printer presets, you will see that I have removed all of my presets for this demonstration. Now in the Slicer UI, click Add Object, and select the machine profile that you would like to work with. After opening the profile, we can see a few things in the preview window. The first thing that you might notice is that Trying to go back, you'll get an error that says that there's no geometry in this 3MF file. That's because there's no STLs contained within the file. And that means that we just can't go back and edit anything before the file was ever sliced, because there's only G-code in this file. In order to save out all of the settings that we need for Steinwipe, we just had to create a G-code file. The 3MF format allows us to bring over more than just the G-code itself. Any settings that were used to create the G-code are now within this file. All we have to do now is open our presets, save this temporary file by giving it a name, and now this preset is saved to your Bamboo account and it is ready for use. Next, we just need to bring in the bed model for Steinwipe so we can see it in the viewer. This model cannot be brought in with the 3MF file because it needs to be saved to your computer locally and then linked to the slicer. This part isn't necessary, but it is handy to have a label on the build plate indicating which machine you're slicing for. Open the new machine preset we just created. Under the basic information tab and printable area setting, we can link the file by clicking load and then linking the model. The model uses slicer specific offsets, so make sure that you select the correct model for the slicer you're using. Also make sure that the model is saved somewhere that it won't be moved or deleted, otherwise you'll have to relink it again. Now give it one more save. After switching profiles, you might find that the cool plate is selected by default, so just make sure you select the correct plate before sending a print. And that's it. 
We have now created a full machine preset containing the new bed model and all of the G-code necessary for Steinwipe motion control. With this, you can take full advantage of all of the additional features Steinwipe has to offer, such as these pressure advanced test lines that indicate what your current PA setting looks like before the print even starts. The Glacier Cool Plate is now supported too by moving the pressure advanced line into the material cut zone, so no more risk of printing over top of your stock purge lines. And of course, there is a ton of other features too, and this video here looks at these all in detail. A big thanks to all my patrons. Without your support, this project would not have been possible. And for my subscribers and my viewers, thank you so much for watching and happy printing.